civic activist. Some of you might remember seeing him on, on Mad Men. Mr. Brian Bear! <laughs> and really a great New Orleanian. This guy's a big star. You know, he could go off and say, look, I'm a, I'm a big star, I don't need to be doing stuff. But he, but he has a lot for the community. He really has a lot for the community. Judith Chapman is famed for playing villainous roles in daytime soaps. She is the past best known for a role as scheming Gloria Fisher Abbott in the Young and the Restless. Where is she? Oh, she is. Michael Cunningham is, is coming. By the way, I think during the judging, Hendrix Jen will be presenting a special prize never given before. These judges. So are you coming out here to do some hollering? You know, when Marlon Brando auditioned for this part, the part of Stanley Kowalski. He came up to my house in uh, in in Cape Cod, and uh, he arrived with his girlfriend, and the lights were out. And he said, "What's wrong with the lights?" And I said, "I don't know." <laughs> well, he fixed them. I don't know what he did, but he had a magic touch. And then. He found out that the toilets were all plugged up. <laughs> and he fixed that. And then he gave the most fantastic audition I have ever seen in my life. And I telegraphed Audrey Wood and I said, sign him up. <laughs> you know, I can't remember which draft of streetcar which I wrote in this town, you know, under a skylight, I thought I was dying. Well, if I, if, if, if I hadn't thought I was dying, I don't think I could have written Blanche. But with Stella, with Stella, you wasn't dying. You were full of life. Always full of life. In fact, you know what? We are so full of life here. We've got little goodie bags. Goodie bag. Look at the goodie bag. from across the river and across the lake in Folsom, Louisiana, Greg Sarage.